Good morning, guys. David Hoffman here from David's Been Here, coming at you from beautiful Aventura, Florida, with my boy, Tal, the traveling clap. What's up, guys? My man, it's been like three years. I haven't time. seen you, man. Yeah, it's been a long time. Incredible. <laughs> So what are we doing today? So today we're going to be taking you on a semi-small Israeli food tour. Miami has some of the best Israeli food in the United States and we're going to be covering some classic breakfast, some lunch food. It's going to be great. Yeah, so we're here at his house first. His mom cooked us a huge feast, breakfast, Israeli breakfast. Then from here we're going to a restaurant. Yeah, this is a cousin's restaurant which is called Levy's Kosher and they do awesome shawarmas. It's a, mostly a meat kosher restaurant. Really, really, really good stuff. Perfect. Well, I'm starving. I've been fasting all night. Let's go. Let's go in. So check this out, my mom, since the pandemic started, she started a home-cooked business here. You can follow her on Instagram in the description below, but today she's going to show you guys just a little teaser, a little sampler of the amazing Israeli food she creates for people here in South Florida. Hi, mama! Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Pleasure. Nice to meet you. Nice to finally meet you. I'm super excited. The smell, the aroma coming yeah. out of here? Wow, so I mean, this looks amazing. What do we have here? This is a proper Israeli feast. These are all rooted in culturally Israeli Jewish food from across the Middle East, and it is oh, the best food ever. This looks out of control. This is gonna be the best. This, you're probably put some bread in it, right? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh my gosh, and what we got here, some mimosa? No, I'm joking. <laughs> So good. We, we, do have, we do have alcohol though. You do? Of course, of course. Oh, you have arak. arak. No way. Right there on the right table. Here. We have arak. This is a common drink, as you know, across the Middle East, but we do drink it in Israel. I personally don't like this that much, but we're going to do a celebratory shot because me and David haven't seen each other in a long time. Oh, that's a lot. That's going to hurt. Hold on, let me pour half and I'll put some water in it just to cut it. <laughs> yeah, please. The thing with arak is you got to mix it with the water. So this is anise and grape juice, right? Yeah, distilled grape. Nice and milky. You ready? And you know how to say cheers in Hebrew? No, tell me. Lechaim. Uh, lechaim, lechaim. Of course okay, you okay. Come on. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a minute. Lechaim, Habibi. Lechaim. Actually, perfect. that wasn't bad. That was perfect. It wasn't bad at all. It was nice. Yeah, you need that water. If yeah. not, that is way too strong. Yeah, first time with the water. I've never done it before. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why I've hated the drink so much. I'm sure. So how are we starting this? Alak was my idea. Put it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do you, you have a suggestion for us for how we can begin? Because this is like. Yeah, I would say place. start with jachman because that's the favorite. With a hard boiled egg, brown egg, and then I think shakshuka will be. Okay, jachman for sure. Let's start yeah, with jachman. It's my favorite one out of here. Yeah, I'm gonna bring the knife. Oh my man, I cannot wait. This is gonna be amazing. So yeah, dive in. I'm ready. So. All right, we're gonna start off with jachman, which as you can see is sort of like a log. This is basically a sweet, buttery log of dough. Oh, it's wow. popular in Yemen. It comes from a Yemeni Jewish background. Okay. We're not Yemeni, we're Iraqi, but a lot of Jewish immigrants that came to Israel from Yemen eat this. And it's popularized throughout the entire country. You have entire restaurants dedicated Dutch to jachman in Israel. Okay. And it's typically eaten on the weekend, like on Shabbat or Sunday. Yeah, uh, so it's, it's hot, right? It's yeah, soft. Yeah, it's soft. We have uh, we have tea eggs. Tea eggs. Yeah, so these are eggs that are sort of cooked, steamed in tea, and they're brown on the inside. So they're hard boiled. Yeah, hard boiled. Okay. And uh, this, the way to eat it, you eat, usually take this, which is uh, just shredded tomatoes. Usually, what we do is put some sort of spicy on top. So here we have harissa, uh, and you just can cut this with the jachman itself, and it's really, really, really yummy. So how do we do this? All right. So first up, let's pop open the tea egg. Let's crack it open. See a beautiful egg on the inside. Oh, I love this. Man, it's like brown, brown, huh? Yeah. That's his tea. Yeah, and it, it and it sits for a very, very long time. If you smell it, you get all the aroma of the tea. It smells a little bit different than just a normal hard-boiled egg, and it it's packed with flavor. It's really, really nice. Mmm. I love that. It's so good. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Wow, different. A little different, right? Yeah, it's not just a regular egg. Typically the way that I'll eat it, there's tons of ways different ways to eat it, but what I like to do is rip it off layer by layer and just work through to the core. So you take it off like this, sort of a thin slice. Okay. And what you can do is you can cut the egg. Like a cinnamon roll, right? Kind of like a cinnamon roll, you're unpacking it. Look at that. You can cut the egg. Okay. In Israel, we love to eat with our hands. You put the egg inside. You can roll it up. So it's like an egg wrap. Like an egg wrap, and then the fun part, stagadish, stagadush. Give, Give it a little dip. lick. That's what we call it. Okay, so like. Be careful, because that's spicy, spicy. You good with spice? Oh, is it spicy, spicy? Yeah, it's pretty spicy. <laughs> You've been to India, I think you can handle it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's almost like a salsa, right? Yeah. If, you, if you're Mexican, there's a salsa. Yeah, but there's not, there's not tons of flavor in it. We try to retain the pure tomato flavor in it. Okay, cheers. Cheers, brother. Mmm. Oh. oh, man. I'm gonna change you the plates because of the eggs. Oh, thank you so much. Mm. Wow. So many layers. 
Oh, so good. I mean, it's so fatty. It's like the most unhealthy thing in the world to eat, but it's so, so yummy. Yeah, it's, it's yummy. Mm -hmm. it's a little piece from you. So it's unhealthy because to the bread, right? Yeah, because it's all it's all dough and butter or margarine, um, mm. and it, there's nothing healthier really in here. It's just doughy mm. and fatty. But you can see when you roll that up. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. 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 And if you want, this is a tahini sauce that's made oh, by yours truly. I love tahini. Yeah, it's great. This is more of an Israeli style. Okay. It's with lemon, very sour, salt, red paprika, and parsley. And so I just dip, or you can dip, you can take it on, whatever you want, bro. Oh, I love tahini. Tahini is the best. Mm. Oh, dude, look at this! Like a beautiful layer. Oh, wow, tahini. Yeah. And the distinction is that this is Israeli food from the Mizrahi background, from the Sephardi background, not Ashkenazi. Mm -hmm. So it's all Middle Eastern inspired Israeli food. Amazing. Mm. It's so. It's your recipe. This is me. That's that's all me. The rest is all her. I won't take credit for anything else except okay. tahini. <laughs> Man, I love tahini. Yeah. The sauce is good. It's not too spicy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was expecting it to be worse. If you want to the egg, just. Usually we have a spicier one called skug, and that one kills you. Mm. It's really bad. Mm. I love that there's this dough. Mm. Incredible. Mm -hmm. You like it? It's fun. Yeah, yeah. I mean, of course, if you eat it alone, it's bland. Yeah. Yeah. You have to dip it. You have to have it in the thing. Yeah. Some people tahini. dip it with the honey. Yeah, with the, the tina, best, actually, it's so good. Mm. <laughs> Yala, you want to move on to the next thing? Let's do it. All right. We've got Malawak. Malawak. Okay, so you want to move these okay. things out? Yeah, so I had something similar. Um, Lebanon. Lebanon, yeah, of course. And it's, it's almost like a parata. It looks it's, very similar. It's very similar to a roti or to a parata or Thank you so much. some sort of like a South Asian bread. Yeah. Look at this, guys. Beautiful. There's ways to make this for people who don't want to eat it with dough with just rice paper. There's lots of different recipes for it, with the especially rice paper. in the modern age. But this is, again, another Yemeni dish that comes from a Yemenite background and very, very inspired. It's been in the Jewish tradition for decades. How do we eat this? So same concept. You can just grab one. Mm -hmm. you, just, you rip it up. You rip it. Oh, rip that it. crunch, man. Like that crunch. That. Oh, yeah, That's yeah. The best. I love it. Look at the layers. You can oh, grab an egg again. Same grab same an egg concept. again. Okay. So lots of eggs in uh, Israel. A lot of eggs. This is all breakfast food too, mostly. Yeah, yeah so of course. You salsa. just take a dip right in the salsa, get some harissa in there. Mm -hmm. Some harissa. Harissa. Yummy stuff. Let me get some of that spice. Yeah. And the crunch on this Super. one, that's the fun part. Oh, I can't wait. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm. Amazing bread. Yeah. Mmm. Malawak. Good yeah, because in Lebanon it's mawak. I think mawak? It's mawak, I think. Mm. Yeah. Similar with their neighbor country, so. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. So good, right? So yummy. Mm. So yummy. Crispy. It's so fatty. Oh my god, I love this so mm -hmm. much. Wow. I haven't mm. eaten malawak in a long time. Mmm. Wow. Oh. Mm. You, know, you know what's fun about eating it? It's a similar concept to Jafnun. Jafnun is a softer, and then this is sort of the harder brother, the crunchier brother. Got it, got it. Mm. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Dude, the layers. I mean, it literally is like an Indian parata. All night. It's so all night for that one. The way you rip it like that, you just mm -hmm. see all the layers in there. Mm. This is the best pairing. Yeah, the tin of the Mhm. Mm Wait, oh. didn't go there yet. All right, brother, you ready for something next? Well, yeah. Let me try this. <laughs> That's so spicy. It's a little cold. Pepperoni, yeah, right? In Israel, we call it chamutzim, which is chamutzim. basically anything that's like been uh, preserved in brine. Okay. So we we'll have peppers, we we'll have carrots, we we'll have olives like this. Olives are Syrian, try it. Yeah. It's delicious. Syrian. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Good olives, huh? The oil just bursts out. Yeah. Mm. The best. Again, the thing with Israeli cooking, Israeli breakfast, it's it's coming from all over the Middle East. We have inspiration here from everywhere. That's the nice part about it. It's a mix of cultures. It's a mix of cultures. It's a conglomerate from all, from refugees and immigrants from all over the Middle East and Europe. That's the fun part of it, eating a breakfast, eating our food. Mm. It comes from everywhere. That's the fun part about it. This is amazing. These olives? Stellar. The olives? They're stellar. Excellent. Excellent. And, and I guess we're trying that next. Yeah, the next dish is, is called burekas in Israel. Okay. You might have seen this in other places, especially if you've been to the Balkan region. They call it burek. Uh, burek. Tur yeah, basically. It's a very similar concept. What Israel does differently, mm -hmm. usually, because we've had to make it kosher. Okay. Um, a lot of times it's filled with potato or it's filled with cheese, and it's typically a little bit smaller, as you can see. Yeah. That being said, we do make a meat concept of it, usually served on Shabbat dinner. They'll have a big roll of bolekas, and it'll be stuffed with ground beef or with lamb, and it's really, really good. And this is cheese? This one is cheese. This is my mom's breakfast bolekas, and it's amazing. Uh, I, I already feel it. It's flaky, sesame yeah. seeds. Gotta open it. 
So another, there's another fun way to eat it. You can corner, Give open it like this. Oh, okay. so like that? Here. Yeah, open it with your hand, and then you can shove an egg in there as well. <laughs> shove an egg in there as well? Yeah. Like that? Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Oh. Oh, man. Very crispy, flaky. It has every texture here. That phyllo pastry dough, the way that it bakes in the oven, mm. and my mom, she puts an egg wash on top and drips some sesame on there. It's those little things, you know, and then you take it, you, you do something like this inside of the mm -hmm. tomato paste, or even in the trina. I'm gonna have a second one, I have to. <laughs> mm. Dude, so good. Yeah. Wow. Is it warm? No, it's amazing. It's, yeah. a, it's a little cold though, yeah, but it's good. It's, it's good, it's good. Hot. Yeah, we'll yeah, yeah, of course. And this is cheese, right? Cheese, yeah. Because it was, I mean, it's very light cheese, right? Because obviously we add Usually eggs. a mix of, of a saltier Feta cheese, you know? Yeah. Okay. So like, a, like a more like a goat cheese, right? Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Oh my God. One more. Mm. Oh my God. The sesame too? Dude, our, so our neighbors, our friends, our family goes crazy for my mom's boekas. It's, it's a slight yeah. variation, you know, from different places, but boekas is what we call it in Israel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now I see the cheese before. I put the egg. Yeah. Now you can really see it here. Look at all the layers. Yeah. Nice and flaky, man. Yeah, it's layers by layers by layers. Mm. You're warming up the shakshuka? It's ready. <laughs> this is also maybe something that you've come across in many, many places, many mm -hmm. restaurants, especially here in the United States. It's typically called Israeli salad. Mm -hmm. It's so just a mix of... Uh, Very Mediterranean. Yeah, just a typical uh, Mediterranean salad. You got tomatoes, you've got onions, you've got cucumber, and our signature thing is the oil, lemon juice, salt, and pepper. That's what ties it in. That's Mediterranean. Yeah. Lemon juice, oil, every day. Yeah. Every day. And we eat this literally with everything. Oh, you eat with bread too? Yeah, All right. oh yeah, everything. Oh wow, I didn't know that. I mean, I thought I was gonna get it before, but mm. no. No, you can eat with so, your hands. It's bro, we literally, we, we, we love eating with our hands. It's like one of the best things ever. Mm -hmm. On a Shabbat dinner, you're just ripping bread in the fish, in the tomato sauce. If you guys don't like eating with hands, something's wrong with you. <laughs> No, seriously, because wash your hands. This is our utensils. God yeah. gave us this, you know? Because people don't want to get that. Like these, these utensils, yeah, they've been washed. Mm. But how many times have we gotten somebody else's mouth? We got the main dish. Shakshuka! Any woman that's dated me knows this is the this is the food I cook on the first date, yeah, always. Yeah, I'm not, I'm going on a date with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we have? It's like tomato paste with eggs. Yeah, this is slow cooked tomato with fajitas inside. Usually the bell peppers, onions, garlic. We've got a sunny side up egg put inside of there to make it, uh, to tie in that breakfast and then garnish with some parsley. We're gonna be eating it with some beautiful Israeli style pita bread. It's a little bit different because it's a little bit fluffier. You know how our Middle Easterners, we like to take pride in each one's different countries' bread? We, we take pride in our pita being the most fluffy in the Middle East. And you just rip that up, you dip it in the chakshuka, you dip it in some tahini, and it's gonna be the breakfast of a lifetime. Ready, how do we right. do this? So, same concept. I mean, you could eat this with a knife and a fork if you want to. Uh, but we stuff it, basically. Yeah, you can just stuff it in. Again, there's no Actually, right or wrong way. Oh, wow. You just yeah. the pita inside oh, wow, but look at that, it just burst. Yeah. It's there's, amazing. There's no right or wrong way. You can do it however yeah. you want. Look at that. The egg right there. Oh, incredible. Stuff that in, and you know we're gonna dollop it with some tina on top. Mmm. Oh. My mom's chuchuca is the best chuchuca in the world. I put it down on a piece of paper, I signed a contract with it. It's the best <laughs> in the world. There's nothing better. Wow. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm. Amazing. So just open it up and slide it right in, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at that. Watch so you got onions, bell pepper, egg, the, the yolk is bursting inside. Just stuff it. Oh, this is like an egg sandwich, man. I love it. Yeah. Oh. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Look at that color. Oh my gosh. Here Cheers, go. bro. Cheers, bro. Mm. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm. Yeah, bro. Those roasted peppers. Mm -hmm. All kind, all colors. Oh. Cooked for slow. Look at that. Look at that color in there. Mm. Mm. Oh, and the yolks just popped. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Fluffy pita. How magical is it when you get that pop of the yolk in your mm -hmm. mouth? And it's just bursting with flavor. It just comes out. And the pita is so soft. Mm. Mm. Nice and fluffy. We like to keep it very fluffy. Mm-hmm. Wow. Just wow. It's next level. Mm-hmm. It's next level. Good. Oh my gosh, dude. 
What an amazing, amazing yeah, my sandwich. Is incredible. It's all about that right there. Mm. You put the quinoa on it? Oh, I have to put tahini on no. it, yeah. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. And this is, by the way, this is a Syrian recipe of tahini. Oh, yeah? I learned it from a Syrian Jewish guy. That's amazing. Yeah. Dude, you just saw that. Yeah. You literally can bottle it. Yeah, so good. The traveling cap tahini. <laughs> My gosh. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna, you know, they say have a mimosa in the morning. We're doing a mimosa attic style. We're being basic white girls, baby. Hey. <laughs> David. David Hoffman doesn't play around. Hey, oh you know, God. I don't drink anymore. But, <laughs> yeah, but in some countries, you drink in the mornings, yeah, you know? It's, no, so it's true, it's true. At least you get, you get the blood flowing, is what they say. Like in Albania and Kosovo? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is the blood to flow. Yeah. Uh, mama, mama. Hey, thank you so much. I, I truly thank appreciate you, the thank breakfast. Thank you, thank you for coming. Wow. I, I had so much fun. Me too, me too. This is amazing. Thank you. I appreciate oh, it. So good, man. I'm pretty full. We'll see how I go <laughs> for another <laughs> round. You ready? More food, more, more. food. Thank you, thank you. Come again. A la yes. próxima, a la próxima. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, let's go get some more food, baby. Let's go, let's go. Your car, man. You want to see my car? I want to see your car. Very exciting. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Special amaze. import from Universal Studios. Get ready for this. No way. Yeah. Guys, if you didn't know, he has the, the dinosaur channel. The dinosaur King right here. Oh my God, that's the car. Oh, that's one. I have uh, two Jurassic Park cars. You have two? Yeah, this is one. This is for the new movie. And obviously you guys can check me out Dinosaur Channel in the YouTube description down below. I make videos about dinosaurs and things prehistoric. No way. So this is one for the new Jurassic World movie. We just did this up. It's a custom design. One of a kind on planet Earth. Just a nice vinyl wrap. And we even have this uh, wow. license plate up here. Check this out. It's the Dinosaur Channel right there. And then we got the really cool baby down here. Oh my God, man, that's like the Dominion logo? Yeah, it's the Dominion logo. It's amazing. This is the yeah, texture from the, from the movie itself. And then check this out, this is a cool shit. You want another car? Oh my God, dude, that's crazy. <laughs> Once you become a successful YouTuber, you do some crazy things, you know? <laughs> I didn't want a Lamborghini, I wanted an old Jeep. <laughs> Guys, look at this, this is like the one from the first movie? No way. This is an original 1993 Jeep Wrangler automatic transmission from Jurassic Park. Holy. I'm just worried if it's gonna break down on me. It does all the it time. Does, it, it does, it does. Stop breaking down. I mean from 93, any old car, but man, what a, a what a monster. Yeah. Look at this car, I mean, from the original, right? Yeah. I can't even believe it. That's crazy. That's crazy. This is so cool. Which one are we going? This one? We're going that one, okay. okay. I, was just I love it though. Dude, this is epic. Can't even believe it. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh. Hey, dinosaur. This is a dream, David. This is awesome. My gosh. All from YouTube. All from YouTube. Worst financial mistake I've made in my entire life was buying this car. <laughs> <laughs> really amazing. It's cool as Oh God, this is so cool. I'm a huge Jurassic World I'm so fan. happy to hear that and I did not know that about You didn't know that? Oh, no, come on, man. I feel like we never talked about that. Because, you know, for me, Jurassic Park like changed my life. Oh, wow. What a car, man. All right, guys, let's go to Levi Shawarma. Shawarma our day, man. I love it. Yeah, baby. Shawarma and falafels and hummus. Yeah, so you 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 love shawarma, right? Oh, dude, I love it. I love it. And also another thing that you love that I know about, you love the Avengers, right? Oh, yeah. So they actually, when they changed their location, they used to be in Hollywood, Florida, where I grew up. They moved here to Aventura. And since then, they've changed the logo on the restaurant to have the Avengers font, which is actually really cool. No way. So when you walk in, you feel like you're going to get like a very heroic shawarma. And it's here in Aventura? It's here in Aventura. It's five minutes away from my house. Perfect. Let's go. Yeah. We've got Liz and Offer, the Oh, restaurant. look at that. Avengers, bro. Yeah, baby. That's amazing. <laughs> I brought you to the right spot. Yeah, five minute drive and we're here. Levi Shawarma, right in front of us. Let's go. Dude, this place is amazing. Look at this. Shawarma. Shawarma. Let's go. Hello, guys. How you doing? What's up? What's up? How you doing? What up? What up? Oh, yes. The Shawarma. I get in here, I gotta get in here. So what is it? Chicken shawarma. Chicken shawarma. Here we is. Keep it like that. It's a match here. Okay, here. Like this guy. Keep it up there. Let me show you exactly what I do. Now, do one. 
Oh my god. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Hey, David. Pleasure, nice to meet you too. So what is that? Chocolate babka. So one looks amazing. All the mezze looks good, but this the babka, chocolate babka. So it's like bread, multiple layers, almost like a cinnamon roll, right? Multiple layers. You got sugar, su uh, Jewish style. Yeah, yeah, of course, dude. This is amazing. I can't wait. I'm gonna try it all, man. And I love the Avengers, dude. A team Iron Man right here. <laughs> so now my So now you can show up my here. Okay. What I'm doing? Look at my fancy shawarma. This is the one you use. I don't know what you call it. That's what we use here. So what is that? Like paprika? Yeah, that's a spicy shawarma. Some of like big, but some people like different. You cut it like this. Oh wow! Look at that. It's got amazing. So when you want to so we're doing like a exactly. So at this now this is ready. Some people like more spicy. See, no, you keep it more. Oh my gosh! You keep it Who's eating that? And now see, that's a dinner shawarma. Like that, like that. Like oh, so the shawarma without exactly. the actual wrap. Exactly. This nice. is the one. That's a dinner. Now that's a shawarma dinner. What kind of salad do you want? Let me get hummus, tuna. Exactly. He's gonna make the salad for you. Exactly. Keep going, Rafa. Let me get coleslaw, please. Keep going. Let me get eggplant. So it's hummus, tahini. You got some coleslaw. Keep going. Wow, look at that spread. This is all, all like cold mezze, right? Yes, sir. Keep going. Let me get purple homemade. Dude, is it? I hope this is for us, man. You get five salad. Five salads. What for the? Yeah, five salad. What do we got here? This is fries. fries. We're gonna eat, we're gonna you got fries? Oh, yeah. oh, wild here, dude. Man, those look amazing, those right there. Last day with cheese. Put it, put it, put it, put it, put it. Put it, put it. Yeah, yeah, put it up, put it up. What do you think, David? Looks insane, huh? It's just insane. Beautiful. Some people like it. Like that. Some people like it. Well done. Now it's perfect. See, put it here. Boom. This guy's so fast, dude. So quick. So quick. I've never seen a shawarma done this fast before. So this is what we're gonna eat, right? We're gonna eat like some cold stuff. Yeah, yeah. A mix of shawarma. Oh, okay, what's that? What, what's over there? So the like salad. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little appetizer. What are you doing there? A lafa. Yes, sir. Shawarma lafa. And tahini on the bottom. Double meal from spice. Green and green. And then give me a little of uh, that tabbouleh. Right there. You got any fried onions? Yes. Fried onion. Yes. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. That's a monster. Oh, he's gonna put shawarma inside. Okay, perfect. And that's it. Oh yeah, yeah. You gotta put more tahini. You gotta... Oh wow. Monster. First and only meal of the day. That's good. I like that. I do similar, man. Wow. That is freaking amazing. So this is a regular pita with hummus. We got some onions. Oh, this is great. Oh, with the spice? Yeah, throw that spice. I like that spice. I won't lie. You know, this guy reminds me of little Wayne right here. <laughs> the way he's dressed with it. <laughs> I'm serious, dude. It's the color of the hair, man. So, what are you doing? It's the falafels. That's the falafels. Chickpeas and fava beans, right? Yeah. All the good stuff, man. Always good, man. Oh, yeah, tahini. Please. I drown in tahini. What are we doing here? So, just a snizzle. I'm gonna put four in the table. So, it's chicken snizzle? Yeah, it's a fried chicken. Oh, wow. Today, you're gonna eat what? Come on. I'm gonna make a lot of eat. Yeah, dude, we already ate. You just have the biggest breakfast of your life. <laughs> I know, right? That's crazy. You're gonna double up now. Let me let me wait a little bit. We're like an hour outside, here. Outside, outside. 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 Schnitzel. The falafel you're gonna missing. So last thing we're missing is the falafel. The falafel. Mm, that food, man. One, two. So we got two. Just a piece is a five piece. Okay, he doesn't want a five piece. I'm gonna be sure. One or two, two. This is the one. Some on the one. Okay. Oh man, here is confusing me. Here. Oh my, that's the piece. For here, how many pieces you wanna call it? Five. One. You wanna call it seven pieces because they're family, so they don't wanna spend. So here you go. Boom. There we 
do it here, we do it here, we do it here. That's a Rafa. What is the table? Like this. Too much. Hey, thank you so much, man. Now I'm gonna enjoy. I'm gonna enjoy now. Hey, it's too much. Ready? Ready? You're joining us? No, no, you're good. Okay, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Hello, hello. How are you? Come with us. Nice to meet you too. I'm excited. No. You ready, boy? That's crazy. You ready? Yes, yeah, sir. We got the spread. Spread number two. I promise you, you're gonna be eating like a grandma fed you. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, Tal, what are we eating here? All right. So here in Levi Shawarma, we got a bunch of different spreads of Israeli foods. We got some that are appetizers, some that are side dishes, some that are mains. We're gonna go one by one and explain to you everything. So first up here, we've got the shawarma. So what is typical in Israel, we have a different blend of meats that we put together. So here we actually have lamb, turkey, and chicken. We try to maximize the juiciness in every single bit of shawarma. And you can see it's just usually dripping in oil and fat. And, mm. Oh, mm. so delicious. Really heavy on cumin spice to make it very, very beefy, very savory. Next up, we got ima schnitzel, which means your mom's schnitzel. This is very typical. You wouldn't expect Israelis to be eating schnitzel, but because we have culture is we have cultural inspiration from Europe and from the Middle East. We do eat schnitzel. And this is a schnitzel, very typical Israeli schnitzel. will have sesame seeds on top. As you know, we love sesame and tahini. You plop that in there, bread it in that wonderful crust. Super, super delicious. Everybody in the Middle East has their own falafel, okay? We Israelis did not invent falafel, but we love to eat it. And we have made a very, very nice recipe. We are purists when it comes to using garbanzo beans and the greens inside to make a very fluffy, and I'll show you, beautiful crunchy outside and beautiful green inside we are wow. purists about falafel if it's not perfect we don't eat it no no fava beans inside just chickpeas maybe a little bit of flour depending on where you're from and tons of spices in there these are mama's fries every israeli knows you got these typical fries this is what they look like there is nothing better than this mm. so yummy <laughs> amazing let me talk about this this is called chamutzim in, hamutzim. in Hebrew, hamutzim just means like sour things. So these are all the things that have been pickled. Very popular, always included. Pickles inside, you have um, pickled carrots. You have here some sort of radish or a turnip, and then cabbage and celery as well. Next up, we've got our plate of sides. So here you have hummus, classic Israeli hummus, which is known to be very, very soft very silky. On the inside you have tahini in there, fried onions, you've got some coleslaw, some tabbouleh salad, and one of the most popular things to get with a shawarma is a red cabbage salad, usually with mayonnaise on the side. Really, really yummy. It's kind of like a sweet coleslaw. So I can't say that this is a very classic Israeli dish, but it's very popular in Miami Israeli cuisine. You can find it in a lot of places. It's rice with pinto beans and these really delicious sort of noodles on the inside. They're kind of like egg noodles. Really, really yummy. This is a great side dish. It's like almost like samalina. Really, really great. Mm -hmm. I love it. This is mm. such a fun dish. It's really, really yummy. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. And then over here we have some These spice. are our salsas. So this is most likely either matbucha or harissa, which are kind of come from like the Moroccan background. Then you have schug probably, which is very spicy and will make you want to kill yourself. And then probably a salsa verde here that comes from Liz's uh, background, which is Mexican. You ready? How yeah. How we David's go? David's been here. David's done that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Taking you to Israel right now. Yes, sir. I can't right, wait. Let's begin. Let's just let's explode the flate, the taste buds right off the bat. Open up this uh, falafel ball. Mm -hmm. I want you to take this, dip it in the trina and hummus mix. Oh, okay. All right. Go in there. In Hebrew, we have the word tenagev, which means to really wipe. It's kind of like to towel off the food. Okay? Tenagev. Tenagev. Cheers, brother. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. That falafel is different, right? Mm-hmm. It's very rich. It's rich. It's fluffy. Yeah. Sesame seeds. Yeah. I like the crust. We've got that crunchy crust on the outside, mm. very fluffy, moist on the inside. Mm hmm. Well, the tahini is very different from yours. Tahini is very different than mine. It's more of a pure tahini, not a lot of spices, definitely not as sour, mm -hmm. not a lot of citrus in there, and the hummus. So clean. So, so clean. nice. This is what I love about Israeli hummus is usually we take the time to separate the garbanzo bean skin. Okay. So it comes out very, very silky. Yeah, I love the word you use. You use silky. And that's exactly very what I'm feeling. Silky. Very silky, very silky hummus. texture. Yeah, man. And, and this is like crispy onions, right? Yeah, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Cebollas. Mm -hmm. mm. You ever been in chilies? Onion bloom. Yeah. Oh. oh, onion bloom is the best thing ever. The best, the best. I love it. Wow. All right, want to move on to the next thing? Yeah, yeah. Let's get a little cut of schnitzel here. Okay. Schnitzel is not typically something we eat with our hands, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah, of course not. So, so schnitzel is basically just like a fried chicken. Yeah, so you know, like schnitzel comes from the European background. 
It could either be a pork cutlet or a chicken cutlet. Of course, that's a very German Austrian thing, right? In Israel, because we don't eat pork, we'll only ever do is chicken. So do we dip it or just? We dip this also in hummus. We, we yeah. dip it also. Of course, bro. <laughs> yeah. In Israel, we dip everything in the hummus. Oh, we have to. You dip your face in the hummus. <laughs> mm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm. Dude, it's so yummy. So good. Oh. Mm. I feel biased because I've been coming to this restaurant my whole life, but I just can't get enough. It's so good. You know it's different because fr fried chicken is one thing. Yeah. Schnitzel is a different thing. The breading. It's a crispy. You can almost say there's more work that goes into it because you got to pound out, you got to tenderize that meat up. Mm -hmm. You got to make sure that it's the perfect consistency when you fry it. So it's like in, like in Serbia, any Balkan country. They do schnitzel as well, yeah. but they pound that meat, you, you know, and obviously this chicken is a little yeah. different. And you guys use a lot of sesame seeds, right? A lot of sesame seed. It's very typical in Israel. I'm not sure if they do it here. You'll make a crust with mustard around the chicken, then put it in the breading, and then deep fry it with sesame seeds. Comes out fantastic. I love it. Combination. And this, you can find this on every street corner in Israel. Mm -hmm. You'll have a Habibi who puts it into the pita for you, no schnitzel inside, hummus, salads, everything inside, and you'll eat it just like that. It's like a beautiful chicken sandwich. Yeah. And this, just like that. I want you to try these fries, bro, because these fries are next level. Okay. These are typical Israeli fries. I don't really know how to classify them and tell you how the process that goes through the making them. They're very soft. I know that they're frozen. I know that they're fried. Yeah, they're not typical crispy fries. They're going to mm -hmm. be very soft, very limp. But that's the way I love them. Then always dip? Always dip. <laughs> They're very oily. Dip them in tchina, dip them in salad, dip them in kharif, dip them in whatever you want. Mmm. Mmm. You know what I'm talking about, bro? Mmm. Not, not almost any salt at all? No. Oh, man. It's been nice. I mean, it's the sauces here, you know? Yeah. The sauces is what makes try, try this, this one. You're going to like this a lot. It's spicy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the red one. So I'm going to pick this up. Spicy, huh? It's time for you to stuff your face with some chamotzim. Chamotzim. So again, chamotzim, pickled stuff. Try with the pickle first. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. I love doing this while eating, this type of food. Taking a break in the middle and trying this out. This is almost like a palate cleanser. Exactly, my, taking the word out of my mouth. Yeah. Palate cleanser, nice and crunchy. Nice and crunchy. A burst of moisture. And most of the times, I'm pretty sure that they pickle their own stuff here. Mm. They pickle all this stuff just in the back in jars, wow. you know? The carrots are the bomb. Oh yeah. So yummy. Mmm, so much flavor in there. Every Israeli meal, every Friday night Kiddush dinner that we do on Shabbat, you have this there. Doesn't matter what. Wow, it's too good. What else we got? Celery, try the celery, the, the cabbage. Celery. Cabbage with dill. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yo, man, the cabbage, man, the texture on that is phenomenal. Mmm. From the corners, like that, yeah, open uh, it up for me. All right, I'm gonna slide some in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide in the shawarma. A little bit of a mess here. Then we are gonna take some of this jazz. I'm gonna slop it in there. Then we're gonna take some tabule. Oh, just some. Slop it in. There. Oh my gosh, this is some a true shawarma, right? Cabbage. We're gonna slap it in there, and of course, we end off with a drizzle of tahini for yeah. David's been here, baby. Because David's been here, David's done that. Get in there, my boy. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. That's Massive. a proper Israeli shawarma pita. Now look at that, guys. Wow. You're not joining me, I guess. <laughs> I had to take a, I had to take a breather for a second. Yeah. Dude, you know how to bite food. Let me tell you, my friend. That's how you do it. Mmm. Wow. Yeah. Yep. The tabbouleh, the hummus, the chicken. And this is chicken, turkey, lamb. Chicken, turkey, lamb, and all the Yo, fat guys. of all these animals together. You're gonna stuff it, huh? So what'd you put there? Hummus, cabbage, tabbouleh? Hummus, cabbage, tabbouleh, tchina, fried onions. And you even got this. I missed out on this for you. This is a fried eggplant right here. Oh, wow. Fried eggplant in there. Close that poppy up on that tahini. Good, good. Just like that. And of course, we're going to throw on some spicy so we don't play around. A little bit of madbucha or harissa. I'm not really sure which one it is right now. Got to put up some more tahini, man. This is the ultimate. You, you know how to speak in Hebrew? You know any words in Hebrew? Oh man, I don't. You know Shalom? Shalom, of course. You of know Toda? Toda. Toda is thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Toda, bro. And the one we learned today, Lahaim. Lahaim, of course. Yes. Lahaim. You know what? I'm gonna get some of this one. Yeah, bro. Spicy? Should be a little bit. Okay. I think nothing too crazy. It's a restaurant. Ready? Let's go. Here we go. Mmm. 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 Bro. bro. 
I know. Look, it's bursting at the seams. It's bursting. The combo. It's just too many flavors and textures, right? Oh my gosh. I mean, dude, the tahini, the spice, everything is so good. Mmm. Isn't the pita. Food is very, very, very important to us. Having the freshest of ingredients is very important to us. That's why year after year, Israel tends to win, and Tel Aviv specifically, tends to win sort of the best food competitions in the world. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, a lot of times it's, uh, it's either the vegan capital or the meat capital of the world. Really, really, really great food. But instead of having McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, fast food restaurants galore, this is our fast food. This is how we consume fast food. Mm -hmm. It's not the healthiest of foods, but it is real fresh ingredients, you know? That's the fun part about it. So, I mean, health-wise, I think it per personally it's way healthier than fast food in America because mm -hmm. all this, most of it wasn't frozen. This is like straight from farms, right? Mm -hmm. And then in terms of friedness, yeah, it's fried, but it's okay. Yeah. It's not bad. It's a light fry is nice. This is amazing. Mm-hmm. You want to level up? Mm-hmm. Of course. Just like that. Uh -huh. Cheers, buddy. Great to have you here, bro. Thank you, man. Mm. We're killing it. Wow. Oh my God, so fun. Mm -hmm. I love this food so much. I know too. Oh wow. Oh my God, I'm gonna explode. Okay, one last thing. Dessert. I'll just start with the, the chocolate part. <laughs> Now we've got a lot of typical desserts, you know, we've got baklava that we eat like from Turkey and knafe, which you know about, I know you taste mm -hmm. that in Lebanon Knafe is amazing. Knafe is incredible. But this is something typical, more Jewish. This is called a chocolate babka. Mm. I think it's more on the border of an Ashkenazi dish, so mm -hmm. less Sephardi, less Mizrahi. But uh, it's got this very flaky chocolate center mm -hmm. and it's sort of rolled. Lots of rolls, kind of like what we ate in Jaclon, filled with dark delicious chocolate. So it's like dough, chocolate, dough, chocolate, dough, chocolate. Dough, chocolate. Dough, chocolate. And then on top we have a little bit of powdered sugar. Yeah, a little bit of powdered sugar, some crumbs. I think these are probably cookie crumble. Mm -hmm. And the one thing that you should know about this, because of our dietary rules, we kind of eat similar to halal, like kosher. Mm -hmm. We can't mix dairy with meat. So everything you're eating here right now, this is called parv. It's completely devoid of dairy. So the chocolate is water-based. It's like dark chocolate, not milk-based. Got it. Yeah. So it's almost like pure cacao. Exactly, more, more similar. It's more. More of that dark, strong cacao flavor. They're diving right in, let's go. Mm. Very rich. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm so decadent. Mm. Mm. I will have more. And then we're here on the side, we have all this pure chocolate. Look at this. Mm. Wow. And that's our Jewish food tour. That is it. Mm. Wow. Incredible. Bro, your mom, thank you so much. Of course. Well, we had like, what, four different dishes there. Yeah. Started with some arak, then we had the bread. We had a salad. Jachnun, malawa, shakshuka, buwekas, four mains. The, t the tomato one with the egg is the best. Shakshuka. Shashuka. Shashuka is phenomenal. Yeah, phenomenal. And then from there, we drove over here, literally a two minute drive from his house. And we're here at Levi Shawarma. This is where the Avengers had their meal at the end of Avengers 1. <laughs> they teleported with the Tesseract over here. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, food's a phenomenal. So we got Shawarma. So chicken, turkey, lamb. Then we have a mix. We have falafel, we have a salad, we have the pickles, we have the bread, the pita bread, so good. Don't forget that schnitzel. The schnitzel, the tahini, and then this thing. Oh my God, a little more, chocolate a little more. Chocolate babka for the end, baby. Dude, I'm just like overdoing with the chocolate. It's like chocolate this overdose. really with a cup of black coffee, like Turkish coffee mm -hmm. or tea. Mm -hmm. You chill after a meal, after you're already full and you want to explode, and you're sitting like this, then you bring the babka out it. and you start drinking some tea and you talk shit about your neighbors and you know what <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, amazing. <laughs> well guys, I hope you enjoyed this Jewish food tour here in Aventura, Florida. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Definitely subscribe to my boy, Tal, and also his dinosaur channel. The dinosaur channel, right? Yeah, check me out, guys. Yeah, and uh, yeah, if you're ever in the area, definitely come out here to Levi Shawarma and order from his mom. The food is bomb. Down below in the description, baby. See you soon. Take care.